Hi guys! So I told you that I actually have a job now and I know that you guys are going to be surprised when I tell you what I'm going to be doing um, because it's definitely not anything that you guys are going to be expecting. This is definitely going to be something that you guys may have never seen me doing. Um, but, so let me just spit it out. I have a job at Amazon at one of our local um, warehouse locations and it is a seasonal position but it's $15 an hour and um, basically I have the job so I was on Indeed this morning looking at different job listings and I was just kind of going through my local zip code um, or one of the local zip codes and I came across this thing from Amazon Workforce Staffing and it said that they were hiring with immediate positions available. Um, I can't start it. I can't start this job until April 25th. Today is, I think, the 11th or the 12th that I'm recording this. And um, I so I have a little bit of time in between. I do have a couple more interviews that are actually with medical field jobs. But I even if I got those other jobs, I would probably honestly still keep this job if possible um, simply because let me tell you guys what the hours are so the hours for the Amazon job I they let me choose between two different sets of days and hours so you're working like 10 hour shifts and the one that I chose was Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday from 1 20 a.m. to 11 50 a.m. So it is overnights and a little bit into the morning time. Um, basically, I guess just working in the warehouse, kind of sorting things, picking, packing, stuff like that. Um, and like I said, it is $15 an hour. And um, even though it is seasonal, they did say that you have the ability to possibly um, be retained working at either that location or another location. And honestly, I'm hoping that that's what happens. Like, if I like this position, I'm hoping that I'll be able to stay on because they are opening two additional distribution centers slash warehouses in my area. Um, one is not too far from where my, where my mother-in-law lives, and the other one is about a half-hour drive from where I live. So either one would be fine. Um, $15 an hour. Basically, what I have to do is this Friday, I have to go, um, they're going to run my background check. I think I have to do a drug test, and then I have to finish my I-9. So they did the first part of the I-9 on the website where, like, they send you a link, they have you fill it out, and you do it that way. And then they finish the second part, like, verifying your information when you come into the building. So I actually have to go, even though I live in northwest Indiana, I have to go to Illinois to do my like I-9 process, my um, get my badge taken, my badge picture taken, and um, do the drug test and any other paperwork that I need, and then I will be good to start work as long as everything comes back clean, which there's no reason why it shouldn't. Um, so like I said, um, I just think that it's really cool. Like, I didn't even have to do an interview or anything. Um, if any of you guys have worked at Amazon before, please let me know. Um, I've heard good things and bad things, and honestly, I'm trying not to go into it with any preconceived notions of what it's going to be like. I have never worked in a warehouse environment, but I'm a person who likes to do monotonous things, and I feel like this could be fun, like sorting packages, um, getting stuff ready to go on the prime delivery trucks and I just think that it could be fun and I'm going into it with a positive outlook like I said I do have interviews for medical field jobs I'm sure you guys are wondering why I just went through this whole medical assistant training program if I'm not even going to try to get a medical assistant job I've been applying and people want more experience than I have currently so without even having an externship it's been kind of hard for me to I guess be a positive candidate for people um, most people haven't even chosen to give him to give me an interview because I don't have enough experience for them 
like they can see when I got my certification on my resume so um, being as I got my resume or I got my resume I got my certification in March I put that on my resume because I put my certification and HACCMA from March 15th 2021 to March 15th 2023 um, on my resume so they can see that so when I came across this Amazon listing and it said immediate I was like okay cool let me see if I can get this and I went and looked and you don't even have to do an interview like you just they ask you these questions to kind of see like what kind of person you are your work ethic and stuff like that and then they make you do this game where it's like a little it's a game but it's kind of like sorting so you're sorting different items into like what shelf you should put it on um and I had to do three of those where I just placed the items where they're supposed to be on the shelf following the rules um and I passed which they said some people um don't pass but I don't see how they don't because if you follow the rules you should pass because you can click on the rules and look at them anytime but anyways um, I am going to be working at Amazon this Friday I'm going to um, today's Sunday this Friday I am going to Illinois to get the drug test and all that stuff done so um, I will try to bring you guys along with me for this process as much as possible in case you guys are interested in like what the hiring process and onboarding process is for Amazon. Um, this is not like, it is a seasonal job, so it's not technically a permanent job, but like I said, I'm hoping that I'll be able to kind of, you know, transform it into a permanent job because I think it would be cool. Um, the hours might be a little bit weird to adjust to at first because like one o'clock in the morning until almost noon is a little bit like, you know, odd to me, but it is what it is. And like I said, I'm going into this with a positive notion, no preconceived ideas whatsoever. And in my opinion, this is a way to hopefully save the house, hopefully, because if I start on April 25th, Sorry, Caesar's playing with his buffalo horn and he's in his crate right now. Um, if I start on April 25th, we don't have court again until May 5th. So hopefully that will give me kind of enough time to either get a paycheck or be close to getting a paycheck so that I can tell the judge, hey, I'm getting a paycheck for this many hours on this day and then I can pay them the landlords so then hopefully we're able to keep the house so anyways let me know if you guys have any questions or want me to talk about anything else let me know if you're interested in following along on this amazon journey that i'm on right now and i will talk to you guys again in my next video